Well, it's been five long years since Royce White last stepped foot on an NBA floor, but talent-wise, there's little question the former local star belongs. See, Royce's fight for mental health may have resulted in what he calls an exile, but with the league now acknowledging those same issues, Royce says he'd be willing to return. I told my agent yesterday, I said, listen, the message for the summer needs to be this. In the last nine seasons, I've played three years. One year at Iowa State, two years in Canada. So I'm a 27 year old, but in basketball years, I'm like 23. No yeah. Is a goal of yours playing in the NBA again someday? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why is that? Why is that important for you to make a comeback? because I love the game. It's right in my face all the time. Right. Like, you know, here's the league and, and you can't play in it because you spoke out about mental health. And uh, so, so that does bug me. There's a part of me that just wants to go toe to toe with LeBron and, 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 and have at it, have a good tilt. But there's a bigger part of me that realizes that for my story to come full circle in that way would be very symbolic of a true progress. Would you really play for free? Or were you just Oh, saying, absolutely. You would play in the NBA for free? For free, complete. Uh, they wouldn't let me. But I'll, I'll take it a step further. I'll donate whatever salary they give me to mental health, and all of the owners and all of the peripheral sponsors can match that. If that's the minimum, 865,000 or whatever the minimum is nowadays, I'll, I'll donate it because I can't technically play for free. You had so much success with Fred Hoiberg. Mm -hmm. He's in Chicago now. Mm -hmm. If he picks up the phone, doesn't that seem like that would logically make a whole lot of sense to reunite you guys? I think that's a great question. And, and ultimately, not to beat a dead horse, but I think it speaks to how the mental health topic has not been progressed. Because the Chicago Bulls would much rather be one of the worst teams in the NBA than rejoin me and my coach that we had one of the most prolific college seasons in recent memory. Now, do you think playing in the NBA again is realistic? No. No, no I don't believe that. You know, I challenge the policy. I challenge the viewpoint. I challenge the worldview. I challenge politics. And uh, that, that was uh, something that didn't go over well and caused a lot of friction with my former employer. Hey, I say give Royce a chance. The dude can still ball. That's sports. Stick with us.